And uh, sadly, we are going to cross now to uh, Margaret's cousin, Peter, uh, who is just going to pay a little tribute to her. Peter, thanks very much. I know it's uh, not an easy thing to do. just want to say, fuck cancer. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, a- absolutely. <laughs> There's no other way of putting it. Honestly, how many people, just as everyone who's listening, everyone has had someone precious taken from them and uh, you know we didn't need to lose people like Ma- like Margaret oh, she it's, was a, yeah, it's, a it's really very special special person and she's so young Woman. so young to, to go you know mm. so Peter we were, yeah. we were talking earlier let's let's focus on I mean I'm looking at a picture of her right now and one thing that struck me when I used to watch her in the 80s was she loved to dance I loved her presence on the stage Oh, she owned it, you know. Um, um, as a young girl, actually, she was very shy. And when I first saw um, when the cats, um, I mean, Peking Man, we actually had them play in one of our nightclubs um, in the early early nineteen eighties. And I was like, wow. <laughs> all of a sudden she, she was just like owning the stage and moving around and people loved it because it wasn't it was she was unique you know I mean people didn't do that um, mm. and you know she just uh, had she was developing then into her own into her own persona and even though um, Patrick her brother and she, they had a really, you know, very wonderful combination in picking men, and as a result, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, remembered dearly uh, that she was already on her way, and you could tell that she was going somewhere, you know, on her own, and you know, uh, she was an incredible mover, and she, so stylish. She had her own style. She she hacked her hair off, and um, when I asked her about that, she said, "I." I I want I want to be taken seriously. She, you know, I, I don't want to be like a. Uh, I think her word was a bimbo or something like that. She you know, she wanted her music to stand up in its own right and not to, not to be there as a you know a, as a as a woman to be sort of ogled at. And, uh, right. and I Immediately thought, wow. So she was well ahead of her time as far as that was concerned. Yes, because you, you know, think so, of all the bimbos uh, in the eighties, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. we must be kind. <laughs> but there, there were, and she does stand out. I'm looking at the the video of Room That Echoes in '85, and her eyes are just straight down the barrel of that camera, and her yep. hair's short yep. and punky, and she's just delivering it to you. And you watch; it's riveting. Yes, yes, she oozed confidence. Um, and I, um, you know, and, and as a performer, you sometimes wonder how much of, you know, there's, that's a front because we've all heard about these famous performers and um, and uh, beneath it all, they were, um, you know, a, 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 a quivering mess. But um, I think she, wherever she went, uh, she she pulled it off, you know, and from very humble beginnings. Uh, she was from a family of seven and... and um, uh, in the state house in Mount Albert, I think it was, and we used to go over there. You know, the family used to big fun. I used to hang out, and then her uncle. I mean, my uncle. Sorry, um, it's okay. Um, it's okay. Uncle Vic. He was a very special man, and he was he was actually the art teacher at St Peter's College for many years, and had a big effect on on a lot of the. Um, boys that he taught because he was so passionate and, um, and I think he um, handed down some of that obviously to both Margaret and, and Pat um, mm. Mm. and so you know I all I remember him as well in this on this day because I mean there'll be people out there that, who will remember him um, yeah and she just took she just picked that up and 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 ran with it you know and uh, you know, when you when you look at uh, her body of work, she's you know she she covered a lot of bases. Uh, you know, I mean that song that she did with Daryl Braithwaite, horses that was a huge hit. That's and right. You can you can hear her voice just crack through in the background, even though Daryl's you know leading it. Mm. 
you know, she she was soulful. She was pop. She, uh, you know, I just, you know, I just wonder where she would have been today if she had continued on that path. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened. Maybe she tired. She tired of the whole thing because she was, you know, uh, she was a a, a a woman struggling in a very um, tough industry and a very, you know, male dominated industry. And I can imagine she had, you know, some experiences that, you know, weren't ideal uh, along the way. And so I don't know whether she just thought, oh, I'm hopping off and just concentrating on my family now. But mm. she had, she had every. She had every quality to take her to the very top, and it's just, you know, it's just um, a shame that we never saw her, you know, realise her incredible potential. Mm. I'm raving about that, aren't I? <laughs> no, well, you, you do, right, when you remember someone in this way. Tell me, was, was New South Wales and Australia good to her? Do you think she had a happy last 20 years? Oh, I, I hope so. You know, I, don't, I can't answer that, but I certainly hope so. I know her... Were, you know, precious to her, and she had a very, a very tight relationship with her husband. So yeah, I, I would hope that you know that you know she was, she was at peace. You know. Mm. You're saying that she was incredibly humble, like when things were bubbling around her, and and there was a big buzz about Margaret in the '80s that she would just play it down. You know, even though she's yeah, she was winning awards. She was quite serene. She was quite serene. You know. Um, and she would just, um, you know, oh, you've got a huge, you've got a huge number of fans still here, Margaret. And she'd go, oh, that's nice, you know. <laughs> she yeah. just took it all in a stride, and um, you know, I can still see her face now. As she was uh, a, re- a very special woman. Yeah, it did. Um... So it's nice that uh, mm. which, oh, there's been an absolute outpouring. I had, I just switched my phone off and. Previously, uh, because there was a, I just didn't realise just how many people felt so strongly about her. Even you know she hadn't she hadn't performed for so long, but she left something very very significant and and very poignant. Um, you know, obviously, so uh, you know it's 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 good that she's remembered so fondly. Mm, look, I think a lot of people are going to be searching out her songs left, right and centre today. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just looking back. I mean, in, so in 98, she, you know, she's in New South Wales and then she makes her fourth album, Second Nature. And I didn't know that was produced by Eddie Rayner from Split Ends, which is yeah. really cool. Yeah, Eddie. Yeah. He's a, he's, a, he's a great chap and a very good producer. And, yeah, and he did the same thing for me um, on an album that I did of of, of classics, and so um, yeah, that's going to be. I think um, people are going to be obviously pulling out a lot of the old tracks, and you know, and remembering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just that we shouldn't be at this point, should we? No, that's the that's no the dreadful thing. No, God, no. Yeah, you know. No. Who who would have thought? And yeah, I just would have yeah. given anything to see her. On stage, she had a great band. Uh, well, in the studio, she was had great musicians around her, and I would, I tried to bring her out to do some shows um, because uh, you know we would have fallen at her feet here. She was she was one of ours. You know, she was our girl, and I never quite pulled that off. But um, yeah, I would have given anything to see her on stage again. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, it's nice, nice it's Hey, listen, just one thing before we go. Let's. Um, you mentioned escaping, so we should go out on this particular track, oh, yeah. which is from Safety yeah. in Numbers. And so, Beautiful. one point you made is that she's she would have had a hell of a struggle in the last little while. So it, it's nice that she's escaped, and uh, she'll always be an angel, won't she, for us all? Exactly. She definitely. She's definitely good. She's in the front row up there now. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Well, let's hear the wonderful Margaret Ehrlich. Thank you so much, Peter, for your time. Take care. Thank you.